decimating foes and brutalizing enemies, this raging combatant holds nothing back. Welcome to the Guild Wars 2 Profession Spotlight, featuring the warrior, the furious gladiator. The warrior's profession mechanic is adrenaline. As the warrior deals and takes damage, they build up adrenaline. Once they have enough, they can utilize a burst ability. This ability has stronger effects for however many bars of adrenaline the warrior has. The ability changes depending on the weapon the warrior is utilizing, like the Great Sword's ability, Arcing Slice, which deals high damage in an area around the warrior, or the Hammer's Earthshaker ability, which stuns all nearby enemies the point of impact. Once these burst abilities are utilized, all of the adrenaline is drained from the warrior, and then they start the cycle again. Let's talk about skills. Being a martial and skilled fighter, the warrior has five skill categories that they can employ. Banners, shouts, physical, signets, and stances. Banners are summoned areas of benefit for the warrior and their allies that pulse boons. Like Banner of Defense, which grants barriers and boons on placement, then pulses more boons during its duration. Or the Elite Banner, Battle Standard which upon landing finishes foes and revives downed allies. Shouts provide a variety of effects, from boons to condition cleansing, and even inflicting fear. Skills like For Great Justice, that grants might and fury to yourself and nearby allies. Or On My Mark, which marks a target and inflicts vulnerability. Physical skills emphasize crowd control on enemies, like Kick, which pushes foes backwards a distance. Or Bulls Charge, where the warrior sprints to their foes and knocks them down. Signets offer strong passive and powerful active effects, like Signet of Might, which passively improves power, or actively causes your attacks to be unblockable and grant you might. Stances provide positive effects for a short duration, like Defiant Stance, that heals the warrior and heals them for more as they take damage during its duration, or Endure Pain, which for a short time makes you immune to all strike damage. Let's talk about trade lines. The warrior's trade lines emphasize their need for close quarters combat. They have strength, arms, defense, tactics, and discipline. Strength emphasizes brute force and physicality. Arms focuses on critical hits and heavy condition damage. Defense emphasizes surviving attacks and mitigating damage. Tactics focuses on ally support and improving shouts. Discipline promotes weapon swapping and adrenaline generation. Sample leveling build linked below. Like any good combatant, warriors can utilize the absolute most weapons that any profession can in game. The weapons they can use are greatswords, hammers, longbows, rifles, main hand axes, maces, swords, offhand, warhorn, shield, Axe, Mace, and Sword. Great Swords offer massive strike damage and fantastic movement capabilities. Hammers emphasize weakening enemies and controlling them. Longbow focuses heavily on condition damage and burning. A rifle strikes a single target with high burst damage. Main Hand Axe attacks swiftly and generates a lot of adrenaline. Main Hand Mace is a defensive weapon, blocking attacks and weakening enemies. Manhand Sword offers great mobility and significant bleeding. Offhand Axe attacks enemies with both weapons and spins rapidly, damaging multiple foes at once. Offhand Mace crushes armor and knocks down foes. Offhand Sword throws the sword at range and can also block attacks. Shields can stun enemies and block attacks for duration. Warhorn grants significant boons and ally support. There are many different weapon combinations for the warrior to utilize. For beginners, I recommend the Great Sword paired with Axe and Shield, as this offers significant strike damage between the Axe and the Great Sword and some defenses through the Shield. For a more advanced build, Great Sword paired with Double Axe is very aggressive and, if played appropriately, can be devastating. There isn't a single place where core warriors don't thrive. In open world, their ferocious attacks and self-healing capabilities make them a strong choice. Not to mention that they have significantly higher base toughness than other professions. In PvE, warriors offer a lot through damage as well as support through shouts and banners. 
In PvP, Core Warriors can still be deadly, as they have plenty of options for defense and counterattacks. The Warrior has three elite specializations, each tied to a specific expansion. The Heart of Thorns features the Berserker, the Path of Fire features the Spellbreaker, and the End of Dragons features the Bladeswarm. These will all be covered in a future video. Physically bending foes into submission with their flurry of attacks and devastating brute force, the warrior is especially made for those who can overcome any obstacle through sheer force of will. Interested in learning about the ranger? Check out the ranger profession spotlight linked here. Thank you for watching the Guild Wars 2 profession spotlight featuring the warrior.